Boom. And boom goes the dynamite. Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome, welcome, welcome to Brothers Forge Gaming. I'm EZ. And we are getting down. We're playing Raren in this Pirates tribute. Uh, man, it's been exciting. We were, we were like 16 and 0, so that's pretty, pretty cool. Um, to make it that far, this wasn't really supposed to be like an undefeated run, but it's turning out to be. What's going on, babe? Yeah. Are they, are they not in there? Oh. Oh, you asked me about the trash. Okay. Anyways, will you put them in there? Maybe not. All right, well, let me go check on that. All right, so we're marching along, as I said. Uh, Red Bull in hand. We've got, we've got swag. We've got all the things you need. Um, I'm trying to think if there's something extra exciting. Well, it's extra exciting that we're this far, so. Let's see what's going down. Hey, what's happening, DOA Hitman in the house? What's going on, brother? We're getting ready. We're firing up. Whoa, I'm listening to my self-talk. Uh, we're, we're getting ready to, man, Ken Griffey Jr. I cannot believe we took the Pirates uh, to 16-0. and 0. We, got, we got my grandpappy back here. Luck, luck be with us. We'll show off some... Uh, I know we did actually kind of go over and have some fun yesterday showing off, um, well, we did some comics as well, but I think we got into some cards and, and other things as well, wrestlers. Um, so today uh, sounds like a good one. We're going to be doing, you know, sports collectibles again, maybe some more spot wrestling now that I can I can uh, reach it a little bit easier. But yeah, we're going to be playing some hardcore baseball. We also got some concessions to check out, so we'll see what's going on uh, in the neighborhood. But yeah, so welcome, welcome, welcome. What Jax figs I got. Dude, not, um, I don't have a ton of Jax. I'll, I will be honest. Um, I have, like, literally, mo oh, most of my stuff is all, I have, like, the small, uh, you know, old school, like, Mattel toys. You know, you know, like the little guys that had like the spring loaded or like an action arm or whatever. Um, I got about a dozen or so of those. Um, and some other older stuff. But then I, I do have a little pile of, I think some of this stuff is like jacks. I'm trying to think. Let me see. Yeah, dude, look at this beat-up-ass road dog, Jesse James, dude. Um, this one's all messed up. I, I think I found that one somewhere, but... I think I do have... Um, I think you asked me, my only other Stone Cold is a Jax. So, I think I'm... I, no, I might have it all. Dude, I do got this Stone Cold. This Stone Cold has always looked a little wonky, though. Um, I believe I have uh, the Big Show and a Kevin Nash. And... I don't even know who made this. This isn't, I don't even, this is just a Hogan. I have a couple of these, like, not, you know, just regular figures. Non-posable or whatever. Whatever she calls it.
Yeah, dude, the Jax is good. I, I just, it's personally, I just missed, um, I just, I, that's, I just don't have, if I, you know, it's if I had more stuff or, or I get into that monster, um, then yeah. I've been going with this because I do a lot of, like, um, <laughs> figtography, um, and stop motion. So, no, I, but I do a lot of, like, pose things and, and, like, uh, figure unboxing stuff. So I do like the series of Mattel stuff that I've been buying, getting, um, or had because it's very, very just like posable and looks great for, uh, like the stop motion and stuff. So it's a lot of fun. Um, yeah, it would really just depend on what figures, because I'm, like, super partial, like, <laughs> pretty much any figure I've, I've shown, um, I mean, I'm not looking to get rid of anything, so, I, I can't, I mean, I couldn't really think of anything that I, like, want to get rid of, um, because I've really just been getting it all for the last, like, you know, four or five years, so, uh, most of it's, like, I, I got it on purpose. Whoops, that's not the right controller. That's why it's like pretty much uh, any 80s, 90s wrestler would be a nope. Anything to do with Hogan or the Ultimate Warrior would be a nope. Anything to do with the NWO would be a nope. Uh, I don't really have much WCW stuff. I really only have my one Steve uh, that I, re I mean, that I use, and I don't. Do I have? Or maybe I. Well, I have a couple other. I, I think I have some uh, like the Masters of the Universe stuff. What's happening, late game man? What's going on, man? I do have accessories. I do have some random stuff. The Jax Austin is posable. He's a little beat up though. There, the, I think those ones I got at like a, uh, <clears throat> I don't know, antique store or something. <laughs> all right, we need to, uh, we do need to dive in here. How come this thing is all wonky? Come on, baby. There we go. This TV's like super weird. Um, and you season. It's having like the randomly the uh, RCA port is having like a trouble in this front, so I have to like really wedge it. <laughs> it's kind of a uh, kind of crazy. Man, this is gonna be a it's gonna be a tough one coming in cold. I need to make sure. Oh yeah, dude, that might be, uh, I mean, that might be res reasonable. I'll have to take another look at him. Yeah, he does have, I think, bow, he has, like, two braces, I think. I'll, I'll, I'll make sure and take another good look at, at those. Alright, statistics. I know, I, I made sure and, uh, got the whole, all the pirate stuff in here. We got Bobblehead Jeff with us. He's been he's been really helping out. Of course, the card for the game we're freaking playing. I still think that's like one of the coolest things. A Super Nintendo made baseball card. That's legit. That's the cheesy. Oh, dude, he does have eight speed. This one? That's kind of, that's one of the pinks. It's more of a fuchsia, I guess. 
<laughs> it's not pink pink. That's what I thought. Sevens. Being a real pain in the ass. Bar limits. Alright, so. It is what I thought it was. Um, can I look up other teams now? They're number two, which is good because it's not Pedro Martinez, at least. But he seems to be like just as good. An 8 8. That is rough. Dude, they have a hell of a pitching staff. Oh my god, TV, come on. Come on, meow. Annual technology. Dude, rockers. Which rockers H uh oh, I fucked up my camera. Um, which rockers HBK is it? Is it the Retro Fest one? Um, like the ones that came out at GameStop and stuff? I'm just curious because I, I actually, I, I'm a huge rockers fan. I have a lot of different Shawn Michaels. I don't have a DX one. I have a, like, just like a true HBK one. Is that the only Sean I have? I think I have very like two very similar Shawn Michaels. But I have the Retro Fest Shawn Michaels, but I actually wanna I almost wanna get another one because it's one of the only ways because they don't make very many Marty Janetti figures, so you gotta get like a Marty Janetti like head or make one or something and then like rip off the uh, the one, or at least just paint that. Like you know, you I, you probably do it with just painting. But yeah, dude, those ones are cool. I I have one, but like I said, I'm actually like I'm contemplating being in the market for a second one because it's the only way to to make like a Marty Janetti that would be like I, that would make them look like the rockers. Uh, like the correct way, so. Alright, so this team's really good. I'm gonna be playing, so we're going into it. I'm a little worried, actually. Am I prepared enough? Who knows? <laughs> Alright. Man, it is focus time. 16-0 and 0 we're sitting at right now. 10 games away from a perfect season, which would just be, like, epic. And on top of it, it's with Pit the Pittsburgh Pirates, who are maybe one of the worst teams, like, in the game. A Montreal, decent defense, uh, good pitching... And a lot of good bats. That's what I'm most worried about. Hey. 
hell of a start right here. Okay, it's okay. One on the board and the first. Two on the board in the first. Nice, dude. That was a heck of a start right there. Yeah, I'll look over. Um, I'll see. God, come on, fuck it. This is the absolute worst right now. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll check into that and I'll, I'll I'll look in to see what kind of like accessories and stuff that I like really have and and we'll we'll shoot the breeze on that. I know, dude, that was like, that was a, a huge start for one of these, like, the first game, because this team is like a powerhouse, so I don't want to get caught off guard. The last couple times I started, the other teams, it was like these hella crazy games that all went into like extra innings, and I like barely won, and I... <laughs> The ring I'm getting is that it's like the Mattel Creations. It's like the very first, uh, it's not Kickstarter, but it's like crowdfunded. Um, yeah, it's like the ring. It actually is made with like real planks. Like It's like made with like a real, it's, it's pretty much a miniature style ring. Uh, it really like retracts. It's made of planks. It has like a real apron and stuff. The turnbuckles have are like metal and then have little cloth like like actual pads that go over them like full on like um legit style ring i think it does come with like a walk up and then it comes with a light up entrance that has uh like four or five different light led light schemes most of it's all from like in your house uh and then it comes with uh that that entrance thing like it's an awesome one and then uh, a full they're all ultimate additions too not like you know so they come with extra heads accessories but it's a diesel uh, it comes with doink the clown which that's like the best one i think it had like three heads a hammer um you know multiple hands and all that stuff uh and then the it comes with an announcing table folding chairs the two tvs a uh, microphone, and then it comes with a Macho Man Randy Savage when he was doing announcing, and it has like his hat, I think, with a built-in microphone, or he just has like a mic, or either way. But it comes with with him and that like announcer set. Uh, and then the last thing was that it actually came with you like the swappable ring skirts. So I think there was an additional like in your house, <clears throat> and maybe like some other either a pay maybe it was survive i don't know it was either another pay-per-view or like one of the tv programs but anyways it was a couple like i am so stoked for that man yeah yeah and all the other stuff was unlocked like uh the doink and all that stuff the macho man and that stuff was an early bird special or whatever um, by ordering it before a certain date, and then the doink and the ring skirts were like achieve achievable by you know goal or whatever, and so, dude, and that's actually should be like, I mean, it should be the it, you know it should be coming sooner than later, so it's just super exciting. It's made me because I had some cheesy rings, and then I did some uh, <laughs> I did some at home pyrotechnics. And uh, broke one of the ropes on my <clears throat> on one of my rings, so it's like I couldn't even take good single shots. Let alone, I, there was a lot of other stuff I wanted to do. So, Here I Save. Save. 
Nice. None. I have no full scale. This will be my first full scale. I have like the cheat, like the ones you buy at the stores and stuff. I have like a Masters of the Universe one, and then I have what like twelve of those figures. Um, with all their stuff, you know, they're they're cool, and they they actually they look good, but you know, they're just I I didn't end up using them for anything really. <clears throat> But there's still time. I might, because stop motion is a lot of fun. There actually would be good for that. Um, and then I had like one other ring with like a steel cage or whatever, but it was like that smaller, that smaller size. And so when you're actually trying to take like camera shots, it's like sometimes if a guy's like laying down, he's like the whole length of the ring. Like I have like a, a Andre the Giant figure, and he's like, you, it's like he's huge. You're like what? <laughs> He's like, literally a giant. Let me go see what this alarm was. Alright, slowly but surely. Yeah, I yeah I remember seeing one of them, and I one isn't one of those a full scale or something? Cause that's what was really that's why I'm so bummed. I didn't realize. I just I got into the serious uh, figure game too late, and I had another buddy too. He was like, yeah, I basically you were able to get these like, like, the store. It was like in scale rings of of something like or full scale rings that were. And they were like dirt cheap compared to like what they are now. They're like it's not cheap. It's like a hundred dollars to get like a, a a decent like blank style uh, full scale twenty two and a half inch ring or whatever. Dang. What's happening, Dizzy? In the house. <laughs> you two mafia. Starter. Still a lot of time for badness, though. <laughs> badness. Darkness washed over the dude.
rabid wild cats. What do we got going on here? What's happening, Vincino? Vault, my man. Yeah, yeah, we'll talk about that. Uh, we'll talk about trades and figure stuff like uh, a little bit later or something. Getting into this grippy. It's starting off good. We were 16 and 0 when we left off. Still doing the tribute run. Uh, this was actually just supposed to be kind of like, hey, maybe we'll you know win the World Series or something. Uh, and it has turned into a big snowball. Here we are, 16 and 0. This actually might be the team that goes uh, undefeated, so we're working towards that. Vectrex Mini. <sighs> Whoa. God, they have such good hitters, it's just always so scary. You never know when they're gonna adjust. A two run homer right now would be not <laughs> uplifting for me. Hustle, 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 hustle. Oh. These YouTube streets, we're gonna go defeated in these YouTube streets. I mean, defeated, <laughs> undefeated. <laughs> Can't even talk. Oh, this streak's still alive. This is game one uh, of today, so it's 16 and 0. This one's not looking bad so far. We're looking good. Um, so yeah, hopefully we're moving to uh, 17. Dude, I was really scared, dude. We had that Montreal. They their pitchers are ridiculous. They're like all like like uh Pedro's like a eight nine eight. The other guy's like an eight eight nine. Uh I think the other guy's like an eight something. I was like, holy moly. Oh bummer. I'm not sure how the playoffs work in, in uh, the short season. That Rampage view? Yeah. Well, there's it's never not on. Uh, no, that's fine. Yeah.
Nice, quesadilla, quesadilla. Can't wait to see ya, my man. Have a safe drive. Dude, Marvel vs. Capcom 3? What's going on here? Where, what are you, where are you getting all this stuff? Three on 360, dude. Man, this guy is dizzy. Dizzy the hunter jit. Let's go check what the concessions are like here at uh in Montreal, dude. Not not a lot of opportunity to be in Canada, right? I was gonna have to wait till the Chicago game, but they have that deep dish pizza right here, right here in Montreal all along with a Pepsi. That's all right, all right, all right, all right. That's what we're talking about, dude. What do we got going on? Whammy, I know, dude. Trent going deep. Dude, that's pretty awesome, dude. My local Goodwill works like crap. <laughs> and at the weed store, <laughs> they'll just weigh it and charge you. I got a store for you. Dude, I might have to do some preparation. Dude, I got, I got to try this, this deep dish pizza though. Look at the little tiny ass pieces. Just like a ballpark. Oh yeah. That's where it's at. What a good seventh inning stretch. Oh yeah. Twenty two fifty. It's a little cheaper up here in Montreal. We do have an awesome flea market though, but our Goodwill. Of course, today's game and the stream is brought to you by the tribute stream here for good old Bill Clemenson, Pirates pitcher, and my granddaddy. Um, this is like an actually just awesome thing. We'll show some close ups. Some of the stuff. Well, I'm not gonna get it out for this video, but uh, yeah, there's like the the. I just gotta show a close up of that bat and stuff. It's really cool. And of course the uh, the epic radio award here. This is this is just so neat because it looks so old school and like authentic. Like it's just so rad. I love this thing. That we've had forever. Plus, yeah, right. Go pirates. Plus, we got sports cards, memorabilia. Wrestlers seems to be a thing. We might pull them all out. Dude, I gotta, I gotta take one more bite of this deep dish pizza, though. Mm, take me out to the ball game. All right, guys. Little Kunita, what? Oh, no, 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 no. Nah, man, that's that's that, it's that Chicago style deep dish pizza, man. Straight from Montreal. Ooh. 
I just gave up an inside the park home run because I'm yapping you. No, it's just a uh, store. It's from the store. <laughs> I hope that, that <laughs> I hope Little Caesars would never serve something so small. I think it's only like this big. Seems like what you would really get from a, <laughs> a ball game. Dude, I remember the giant Caesar though. I still want. I I feel like you'd never be recreated. Even if I have them cut the pizza just into four slices, it wouldn't be the same. I feel like they use giant ingredients. Purses. Purses. Didn't we look it up and I'm pretty sure it does increase the speed, doesn't it? You gotta buckle down and just, where did my giant Red Bull go? Nice, dude. That's what I'm talking about. That's awesome, dude. That's actually really cool. I was bummed. I don't know who they were signed by, but I was really mad. And I, I always check the sports section of my Goodwill now because one day I was like, oh, you know, I went over there to look for something. And a guy right before me ended up grabbing, it was like a pair of boxing gloves that were like signed. Or something by some... I was like, what? I was like, so now I'm always like... Always super interested. I feel like I'm going to find some crazy signature. A Wayne Gretzky hockey stick. Yeah, I mean... Even like a... Even a, literally an autograph by famous people isn't all that expensive anymore, but... It's so cool to have. Um, I might, I, ah, oh, fuck. I had it on, um, I think I kept it. I'll have to check though. I've been doing some cleaning. convenient. Streaking Pirates win 4-1 to one. Trent home run. White Sox sign hockey goalie to play catcher. I guess that's what happens when Carlton Fisk retires. Oh shit, we going to Florida. 
Florida. Got them Florida Gators, right? Mmm. Mmm, Gators. Gotta watch out there. Oh my god, it's Stokes. It's like my... Dude, I love this team. Ripping. Gripping and ripping, dude. Starting off good. Trent's been hot lately. Just as I say that, dude. Big bomb! Take that first inning, dude. Gilroy, dude! I wish I would have been betting on myself today in fantasy baseball. I think every time you hit a home run, it's like 18 points. Minimum. Feeling good. Well, I ain't gonna steal against Benito Santiago, so. It was that, I had a good run last night, dude. I really, it was really nice playing, uh, playing some NES. Got me just Feeling good, dude. I've been taking first place like all day, every day on on worms, playing that cuphead, dude. I'm I'm ready to go, man. Easy's back, bringing the content. I'm gonna break something, dude. It doesn't matter what your name is. I 
don't know if anybody's like real baseball fans, but I've been betting on baseball religiously for like a you know month. Um, and it was insane. I actually won money. That's the only reason I bring it up because I, I bet it was like, oh, it's a good time to bet on the Toronto Blue Jays. They're like facing some pitcher that they're they should do good on. Those guys scored 25 runs or like 27 in a baseball game. It was like 25 to, I don't know, 3 or something like that. Like insanity. They had like a 19 run inning or something like that. It was like, how does that even happen? Every single person on their team ha was like 40, like 40 to 80 points or something on FanDuel. Is that your weird email, or is that Mrs. Savannah? You gotta watch her, dude. She'll go off and stream one on you. She'll be like, Easy's playing baseball? Pfft, heck no. I'm playing Fall Guys. There's a... Huh. I thought they already had an expo this year. It must have been a different... There was a, so there, a SoCal one back in, like, February or something like that, too. Yeah, we're definitely going to be missing that one because uh, we're getting ready. We're going to be going up to Portland. That's, like, our favorite one. Closer to Mr. C now, too, so... Um, we'll be excited to get up there. You know, honestly, it'd be nice. You know, you wish you, wish you could do them all. Oh yeah, there you go, dude. Send it to the forge. That's Tom Forgery. <laughs> and the corporations are all corporation-y because they want money. Dude, who'd they put in? Willy Nilly McBilly? This guy's ripping me up. Would be fun though. There's some people I really want to get a hold of down there in uh, SoCal. A couple people I know, and a couple people I know through acquaintance. Um, and in fact, there's a buddy uh, up here. Our our, our arcade guy um, is, you know, friends with uh, uh, Pat, the NES punk down there, and, and delivers arcades to him and stuff like that. So I, I've always kind of wanted to go and. Uh, well, I chatted him up when Sacramento, I, I met with him, and we, we had a little conversation about some of that stuff, but, uh, yeah, it was cool, we wanted to get down there. We also met, uh, the guys that have been, that did the movie Rarity, um, we were supposed to go down and, and hang out and stay with them and stuff for, uh, back before it premiered and all that, but, so there's, there's cool stuff, it's always good, good to get in, get in where you fit in. Right, is it that hot where you are? Because it is blistering hot here. Dude, this pitcher is a real dick. They have like some really good reliever. But he ain't good enough, dude. Come on, that's not a home... That is crap. That was off that pole, dude, and you, everybody knows it. Christina! <laughs> What you gonna do, what you gonna do, what you gonna do when the pirates come for you? Easy BFG. Oh, 
Oh, Scandinavia. Yeah, and the thing is, is this game has the register where um, if it hits the pole like high enough, it counts as a home run because that's what it is in real life. And so that was irritating because that that sh I feel like that was over that line. Like I got robbed. That would have another been another blast party, dude. EZ and the Pirates have been on Blast Patrol, dude. About to get my grandpa's little bat out, start swinging it. Get some. What's that doing? Oh, I'm just hitting, hitting home runs. Oh, since I got some time, I might as well show you. This is Cal Ripken Jr.'s rookie card. Very first card made. No bigs. Dude, I have more home runs in this game than my team like hit the entire season, I feel. Damn you, Benito. It's so good. Ow. And they robbed me of a home run. I've played so many games with Stokes that I like... I almost think that he... I know it's Chuck Carr, but I felt like it was a real player. Like, Stokes is like a real... He's like... He's basically my uh, my Barlow, but better. Prince on fire. Not today, Junior. Bases loaded for one hot individual. I saw that one coming. But if they go home again. They won't be so lucky. Yeah, it was fast too. Dude. Don't test me. I'll get in there. I was trying to call a grand slam for for Quesadilla Padilla. He just got home. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome to find that uh, uh, find that 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 Marvel vs. Capcom. Dude, that's that's legit. What's happening, my man? Hope you're having a good Tuesday out there. Um, dude, I have had an exciting day, dude. I, I got up got up early. I've been working, busting it, getting work done early enough to come home, hang out with you guys, um, and then do all the stuff I got to do afterwards. So it's been great. Um, today is actually a good one, too. We played uh, Monday Classics yesterday. Had a blast. It had been a minute. I, had, I skipped, I think, a couple of them um, because of some different things, but... Uh, it was really fun to be back playing NES games. Uh, today we're back on this grippy grind and it's going good, dude. I'm excited. And after uh, I get to go watch, it's uh, a middle of the week date night. We're going to go see Nope 
which if you don't know well I know me and Mr. C are both big horror fans around here the Brothers Forge Gaming is is huge into uh, the horror genre and all that stuff um, and then OBS is as well we sit here we watch a lot of creepy stuff and, and we just love it um, and so if you know comedian you know, Kean Pill Jordan Peel has actually become quite the uh, the horror director um, with a couple he, he's helped on some films but has a series of his own films uh, which is uh, Get Out and Us uh, and then he just released a new one the other day uh, called Nope and so we are going to go see Nope 7 o'clock tonight and get scared hopefully um, it looks good so we're excited uh, to see always love to see a good new movie you know that was a great catch Yeah, dude, I wanted that Grand Slam, dude. I know, I cannot wait, dude. We're gonna be noping it up. Nope. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome, dude. So, you know, we don't, it, it was kind of funny because we wanted to go see a couple other movies and it just didn't work out. Like, we actually never, we still haven't seen Jurassic Park because we ended up, what, we had Corona when it first came out. And then just something after something after something, we just haven't got a chance to go there. And, but it was kind of funny, like when this came out, I was like, there's like a movie coming out like on Friday. And we were like, we're going on Tuesday, like basically making it happen, so. Dr. Green Thumb, dude. I know it's almost time for me to do a preparation station recreation and get ready for a couple more games dude i really the goal was what is this number two the goal was to play five games so um we're we're kind of on on track All right, i wanted to get five games in today before i had to stop and that would leave me with only five games left to achieve a perfect season, and then plus, you know, I, I would want to play uh, the playoffs and stuff like that, but, so. But I gotta stay super laser focused. Yeah, I was a little bummed, like, we got all pumped, we watched all the movies, um, we did everything else, watched them all in a row, and then we ended up, we got uh, just one thing after another. And I was like, really? But, I mean, horror has always been our thing, though. We, like, uh, I really dig it. You want to, I mean, I, like, like, we've been, we've been watching, we've been getting ready. We've watched, like, the, what, The Quiet Place. Uh, we've been watching all those. We've been watching a lot of Samara Weaving, if you don't know who that is. Uh, it's like Ready or Not and uh, The Babysitter 1 and 2 and stuff. It's like, dude, Watts, Watts, Messier, Weakland, Gilroy. That is some home runners. Bosox players boycott press. I've never seen him say Bosox, dude. That was interesting. <laughs> Yeah, I bet. I know, it's nice. I live in the area where literally it, it's like, I, I mean, I live in the Emerald Triangle. So it's like, uh, everybody is literally growing. It's all you ever smell, like during the seasons and stuff. Even though it's like legal, you can buy it and all that stuff, it's still just everywhere. It's like all you ever smell, you just like, the neighbors are like trimming it. It's always everywhere. Dude, I think I am going to do a preparation though. Who we playing? The Mets? Let me see if I... I got some Mets here, dude. Dodgers. I know who I'm looking for. I 
I thought it was there. I'm looking for that knot. Oh, oh no, that's. I'm thinking of the wrong guy. Who played for the Met? Oh, it's like Daryl Strawberry. I ain't got no Mets. Oh, unless I have an old Met. Probably in my binder. All right. And just in case, dude, uh, I haven't, I haven't been showing this card off. This is the one I've had out that kind of started me looking for all the rest of my other ones. This card is actually, uh, I got it straight out of a pack and put it. The shot owner of the shop put it in this thing. This is a Michael Jordan platinum card. Um, and was super, uh, it's a super rare card, actually. Um, I've always wanted to get this one graded. If it gets a good grade, it actually could be pretty valuable. Dude, yeah, dude, we got, you know. Botanicals. <laughs> The Mets? What's a Met? Isn't that like a museum or something? An art gallery? Alright, well, we're gonna have to do a little recreation station preparation. Let's show something cool here. Oh, this is my other one. This is one of my two. Uh, Miss, this is actually the good one. My Miss Elizabeths. Dude, she is one of my favorite, dude. That first, that first lady of wrestling. No. Um, this is the SummerSlam Mega Powers, where she distracts the Mega Bucks. I've actually used this figure for some stop motion. That was awesome. Awesome. Awesome times. Good times, great oldies. Unfortunately, it must be New York, <laughs> which is funny because at one time there was like, I don't know, I feel like there was the Mets, the Yankees, the Brooklyn Dodges. I think the New York Giants were a thing at one point. Like, go home, New York. You have enough teams. It's bad enough you have to have two teams for every professional sport. Plus, isn't Buffalo in New York? We got way too many teams. Way too many. I'm a dragon. I believe that there's like four teams that practice in uh, Arizona I don't even know if one of them is Arizona <coughs> that was probably Vince Coleman you do not want to let him get on base either All right, everybody. Oh wait, no, this isn't him. Who the hell is this? Oh, that sucks. I should have had that. Hey. Daryl, Daryl. <laughs> I knew you guys were chanting with me, dude. That's why we got him. No, there's a few more than five. There's, I think there's, uh, like, seven or eight. But we are getting down. We were at 16-0. and 0. 
Oh yeah, I think I missed. Like I think I might have said eighteen last time. We stopped at sixteen last time. I thought it was eighteen, but it, so we were sixteen and zero. I think we're eighteen or nineteen and zero now. We should be able to get us in range for a, a finale stream, which one way or another, it's gonna be the end of the pirates' run, and I feel like that's gonna be glorious. All right, these guys are coming to play. I feel like they have a good pitcher on the mound. Dude, no, I like, I don't know. I, I swear at your staff. I know that if we take more pitches, you can, it's like you can get beamed. Huh, that makes sense. That's cool. And now you know. This has been Vincino Baltz. And now you know. <laughs> yeah, dude, you know, I still... I'm partaking. Partaking and raking. Howard Johnson, dude. Hojo. Hojo. Would you know, though? Ogdenville. <laughs> Randomly, I feel like 2005 is the one that I have. There's like, I mean, I think mine's 2002. I think I have like four copies of Madden 2002 somehow. On PlayStation 2, though. Come on, Webby. I need to get some hits on this guy because hits, you know, hits, runs, all that stuff, that's what, like, wears the guy down. <laughs> it, it put them on the map. Um, from what I remember, I, I, I can't I think I have one of the Slugfests, and I, I, I did enjoy those. Um, at the time, I didn't get to play very much because, uh, in that era of, of gaming, that was what, like, so still, it was like, what, Xbox, Xbox 360, that, that thing, so we were, like, heavily playing Madden Seasons, and heavily playing Halo, like competitive. Like I was playing Halo Two, and I was ranked like in the top one thousand in the world. Like I, that's like I played Halo, and that, and then we played like every like baseball, football, basketball, baseball, football, basketball every year. Um, and so I like the little bit more arcade feel. Well, no, I mean I, I do like the simulation and stuff too, but. Um, but I enjoy the arcade feel, and I'm obviously more of a retro gamer than my friends. And I enjoyed that type stuff, but they would never get into it, so it'd be like an instant nope. And we'd, you know, we'd go back to playing the other stuff. And um, so I, I always kind of uh, miss those. But I, I'm always on the lookout now because I think that's like a fun concept, uh, and I wouldn't mind playing a little bit more. I need, I want to play the NFL Blitz a little bit more. It's been a while since I played them, and I remember just such great things about them too. So, <laughs> not big on NASCAR. This is about.
This is about the most NASCAR I'm gonna get. <laughs> Or maybe, or maybe the... <laughs> I also have the big Goldberg uh, uh, classic street rod. I seen, um, I think it shows it on the back to a couple of the other ones. There's like, there's one that I really wanted. I can't remember which one it was, but, oh shit. All right, I need, I need to focus a little bit more. <clears throat> the giant. We say it's the big show. Be a big bad show tonight. I will tell you what, dude, he has been the consistent man, Jay Bell, uh, shortstop. Didn't have to switch his position or anything, dude. He's just like, G, he's a G. See, now that's what I'm talking about, Quesadilla. Oh my gosh, so I'm a huge, so Griffey and Tech Mobile, I'm a, I'm like a, actually I'm in a, I'm in a, um, a Facebook group and like a, well not like a league, but a challenge group and stuff, uh, for Super Tech Mobile on the NES, and I've done some, I've done some crazy stuff, I'm a high caliber player on some Tech Mobile, dude, but all of them are, are fantastic to play and, and super fun, uh, across all the systems, dude. I, I think that that Tech Mobile is just one of the uh, the best games. The other cool thing that you brought up is I just recently got Blitz on the Dreamcast. And so it's cool to hear that because uh, Sega has always done such a good job. Let's see what you've got here. Um... They always did such a good job of porting uh, Arcadium, so I'm, I'm like really excited to play that Blitz. And actually, I, I personally do really enjoy the uh, OG, is if you're talking about the original, original Tech Mobile. Um, I, think it's a, I think it's a more challenging, competitive game because it's so relentless. Uh, it, you know, it doesn't give you, like, players uh, doing, you know, like, sometimes the players do stuff in the Super Bowl version because, you know, just because of who they are or whatever. And uh, the other one's just so gritty. You throw a lot of interceptions. If, you're, if your play is picked, pretty much you're done for. Um, and it's kind of funny because people always talk, they're like, well, Bo Jackson. The unfortunate thing is you can't change plays you can't uh do the stuff you can in the other ones and he only has one rushing play he shares with marcus allen so a defender and then they have no quarterback and they have like tim brown and they don't have like a overall great offense so you just pick bo jackson's play every time and then he can't do anything <laughs> And they have to play the rest of the game with all those other players with you just not, you know. <laughs> so it's it's like, but yeah, one of the best and most competitive games. I think me and Mr. C played an Ultimate Super Bowl one time. And it ended up, like, crazy. Like, th we were kicking field goals and shit like that. It was like 6-3 to three or some sort of crazy thing where I tackled him on the one yard line and it was the difference maker. And <laughs> I'm gonna have to go find that video and watch that replay. Mr. C, are you in here, dude? Do, you, is that, do we still have that one up? It would be some sort of Tech Mobile Super Bowl. Damn. I 
I know, I wish I had... Uh, I love the Dreamcast. I have my original Dreamcast. It was a system I got... Uh, maybe for like graduation or something? 2000, right around there? Sounds about right. And, uh... And... I have a, I actually have like a hundred games, hundred Dreamcast games, uh, and they're it's such a great one. The the bummer now that you said I have a lot of good ones, some rare ones and stuff, but he brought up that Capcom. I had it once. Well, I found it. I bought it from a guy, great price, but it didn't work. I tried to have it resurface all this stuff. I had to bring it back to him, and he was like, "Oh, I'll fix it." And he's like but here i'll give you your money back and blah 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 and i was like ah, i just want you to fix it and he just never fixed it never brought it back gave me my money back i was like so i had i had i think it was might have been number two or i can't remember it might have been just the first one but i was so excited to finally i think i have one on another system but i i finally wanted to get one on dreamcast <laughs> and i did it Dude, I love my- that Dreamcast is amazing, man. Oh, what do we get there? Yeah, there's a- you can go to- there's a Facebook group, uh, called- well, they're for the Tecmo Super Bowl, um, and they're actually pretty awesome. They do challenges, they can hook you up with leagues. There is a league, too, actually. There's a league group that plays, like, actual tournaments. I know there's one in, like, the Texas area. Um, but they... They still play, yeah, there's ones that use just the only the OG roster, and then there's, like... Basically, all these groups have the... You can get a roster of every year, and then you can get a... a cart that has all greats, or whatever. So there's like there's like a lot of roster updates. I, I actually should die. I mean I love the game so much, but I also just love like the OG part. But it would be really cool to get I don't know something. I mean I know my grandpa wouldn't be on it, but even like an all-time pirates if they make it something you know there'd be a lot of cool other cool players. Oh, the superstar! Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, there's a lot. Of, there's so tw there's a lot of great toys and wrestling toys and stuff out. Uh, Mr. C, did you did you get on that uh, No Holes Barred exclusive thing? I, I'm I have n absolutely no cash, or else I would have probably tried. That would have been super legit, man. Fuck. That was bad. Bad.
Ah, I should have put the other guy in, he would have been safe. Damn it. Oh, wow. Get through. Yes! What a score right there. Whew. Got here. Which one sold out before you had a chance to buy it? Yeah, I'm not a Mario Kart player. You would, you'd, you'd probably mop me up. I'd honestly, Mr. C, uh, the El Dogre, those guys are kart players, man. Um, or any fighting game. I don't know if you, anybody out there, if you like play a fighting game, you could beat me. I am like. I am not. I am not good. I'm not seasoned. I'm not practiced at, at fighting games. GTA killer. Yeah, dude. I don't know. You might be able to beat me on GTA too. Race on GTA. <laughs> Did you get that no holes barred, Mr. C? Yeah, but see, some people, they know those combos and then they just get you. Or they just do, I don't know. I was in like a little fight club thing and I would like, I'd do all right again, but if someone knew what they were doing, they'd just like, you're like, oh, that's cool. But yeah, pretty much I just, I'm like, mash, 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 but, and then you find out, you're like, oh, I was doing it all wrong. <laughs> I don't even know nobody named old James. He's gone. Yeah, see, that's what gets me is those people, well, some people, they go as crazy as to have things that have it, like, programmed in, but, you know, those guys all know that shit, and I'm like... Interesting. I need to go check something real quick. on me I had left something at work. I'm digging. I, I haven't got my Flare Ultimate open yet, but I cannot wait. I got a lot of good figures yet to even open. And so many amazing ones already out to look at. Dude, I love the Honky Tonk. I, I, do I only have one? I might have two Honky Tonks. I definitely have two Honky Tonks.
Oh, actually, that might be a Jax. I might have a Jax Honky Tonk. Oh, that's what you were saying. Dude, I, I need a good Undertaker. I have like a Lord of Darkness new ultimate one. I have a bunch of amazing ultimate warriors. I think I have two or three, so pretty set there, but I got a, a decent I need like some certain people who like uh oh shit. Actual uh NWO versions of guys and stuff like that, but I'm rocking pretty solid collection. I'd love to get the demolition uh, in Mattel, Axe and Smash. He's rolling. Dude, Target has the goods. I feel like Target has one of the best uh, deals or whatever, because they get... The Target exclusive stuff seems to be, like, legit. But it's all sold out all the time. But I got some good elites from there. I mean, especially, like, ultimates and stuff. Dude, uh, dude, Dizzy, I used to... I used to play some electric football. I, I love that stuff. I actually wanted to get one that was in decent shape uh, and play nowadays. I thought I thought that'd be fun because now you actually know. I don't know. Just as an adult, you just know different things. So it's like it'd be almost kind of interesting. In fact, now that I have uh, the the way this compute the computer's working for streaming, I have this amazing football game that hopefully I'll be able to stream, but. Um, it's a VHS, so it's a board game, but you draw cards and there's a lot of VHS footage you use as your plays. But, so yeah, I'm gonna find somebody and probably El Dog Ray or something. We'll, we'll play, dude. We'll, it'll be awesome. I'll make Mr. C play me over the intercom. Tiger Star signs massive 100 million contract. That's funny. Almost relevant. <laughs> Must just be like a one year contract. Nice, dude. I'm playing a good, like, run of teams. 
I played, it seemed like I was playing fucking hard ass team. Right, Mr. C, did you ever get any of the Mr. Uh, Vince McMahon build a figure stuff? I'm still so mad. I almost had a gorilla monsoon one time, and I, I like should have. I don't know why. What happened? And I didn't end up getting it. I was so mad. I do have I do have an awesome mean Gene Okerlund uh, with a changeable vest. So I got you know he's in red and in his blue. Nice, dude. I'm very, very happy to hear that because, honestly, you know, I know someday that's actually one thing. Um, even if we couldn't, you know, shoot videos or do that, if we ever do come into town one way or the other and, and get to kind of like hang out, um, we could definitely set up and do some stop motion and some some photography and stuff. And so it'd be really cool, dude. I, I could you definitely I'll need events, dude. You'll need a gene. We'll pull together. We'll both have those rings, dude, so it'll be, like, travel, dude. We'll just keep different skirts on them, dude, so that way it'll be, like, different. <laughs> when, we're, when we're here, it's in your... No, when we're there, it's in your house, dude. You've got that Saturn game. Dude, Rikishi, dude. I ended up getting that Yokozuna. This figure weighs so much. It is so crazy and big and awesome. I love this, uh, this Yokozuna. Bonsai! This was, this is such a legit, the earthquake was really cool too. This thing's like, really, really heavy for a, like for one of those things. He's out. Yeah, um, I just did. That's why I'm glad Mr. C was able to complete uh, Vince because I, he also uh, completed Paul Ellering, and I was able to complete uh, the Mouth of the South Jimmy Hart with one of the sets. And now you know, with him doing that, it's like that's pretty cool. Got some cool, cool guys. And that's definitely like a cool bonus to to buy. It's they're usually four figures, so four figures. Most of them are usually ones that you want, um, and then you get a fifth figure out of it, which is usually like something amazing. Dude, Jimmy Hart fire, man, dude. I got him. I got the Hart Foundation up there with the tag belts on. Dude, there. It is good stuff. Weak, Lynn. Ain't weak today, baby. Um, that was... Um, that was part of the Paul Ellering set. And that was actually a cool... I think I have a China... Do I have that China? I can't remember. I might have... No, I think I have a different China. Oh, I think I have the actual DX China.
What do we got going on there? Can take it. Dude, Ted DiBiase is always good, man. I have, I have like an amazing Ted DiBiase, I will say that. I'm happy with the one I have. But it would be nice to get... Dude, you just want an ultimate version of anybody that you like, though, because they're so nice. <coughs> having swappable heads, having swappable hands. And the cool thing about, like, like that new Jimmy Hart figure, Build-A-Figure, is that you can use any hands, so I was able to use, like, um... Uh, you know, hands from other guys to make them do, you know, things that they didn't, you know, come with. So it's like, it, it's great, dude. I love figures today. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem is they keep coming out like crazy. It's just like you want every single one all the time and getting hard I had to stop because I have like a pile I have so I have a lot like for for the short amount of time I mean a lot here. Howard Johnson, dude, he sent it to the Hojo overnight stay. Pack your bags. So it looks like the uh, the Cubs really took off on our poles. Let's go pirates. Come on, Wiki. Wiki, Wiki. Wicka Wicka. God, that guy's ter like a liability. I should think about maybe bringing in somebody else. <laughs> I went way too early. Look at that. Fuck. Oh, that was stupid. I'm a regular slime rancher.
Towering fly ball. Hit a homer, homer. <clears throat> All right, my man. Thanks, Quesadilla Padilla, for stopping in, chatting around, talking that, talking that wrestling fig, dude. You know, we know we're gonna get caught up talking wrestling. G, do but I buy B. Oh, did you get a Chicago style deep dish too? What ballpark are you at? Schmack, schmack, Jimmy to Jack. Dag nabbit Gilroy. That's why I'm confused. I was thinking this was a different team. This is St. Louis. Got it. Yeah, do they have Ozzy Smith? That's who it is. Come on, J Bell, this is where you shine. Oh, that sucks. Worst thing about it is if that would have got down, it actually probably would have been good. A good play. Too bad Ozzy Smith has, I think he threw it so hard it just made the guy out, regardless of him being out. Ow. 
We gonna watch that? Nope. We gonna eat that popcorn. It's gonna be a good, good time. I really zing a wing that one in there. Ow! Ow! So that was not magic. You know. Chalk another one up for them streaking pirates. Weak line with the three run homer. Dodger Star signs massive one million contracts, but people are just signing these contracts every day. Must be that year where payouts are going around. Where does that land us at 20 and oh? We should go ahead. I think we're going to go ahead and roll this. We've been just on fire. <clears throat> it's probably bad. Bad ju juju, but... Get one more in. I wanted to get to five games away, so... Nice. Dude, you really can't be getting the give it getting the hit out. <laughs> Alright, so it really comes up to the batting, dude. I gotta get it on right here. Let's get it on. Damn dude, I got a fly in here, I got like a heckler. Slow piece of garb garb.
See, it's funny because I've thought about going back and forth, but the lineup is has been good, obviously, throughout the whole time, because it kind of spreads out where some of the... Because uh, it's like, ultimately, I could potentially build an old-school lineup that has that section that would produce, but the way this one is, it's, it's built to go in spurts and stuff, and so if the unlikely guys come through, hits like that and stuff, then it's like, you could prolong like, really good runs. They were like, playing him or something, I was like, that wasn't actually bad. So I think the guy only has nine too. I don't even know if I have like a ten defensive guy. Like they're all just like decent, which would be another crazy thing about actually being the Cubs, because I like like Ryan Sandberg, Mark Grace, maybe even Sammy Sosa. They all have like tens. Randomly too, there's someone else that might even be like decent, like. Where you, because I know you switch their lineup around. I think you put Mark Grace at like third base. I think what sucks about this is I'm pretty sure that that's. Uh, Vita is the Pedro Martinez, so that's why I'm not getting any extra ump on my hits. To be honest, Bishop could be my guy, too. This could be a battle of the aces. Damn, that guy had a cannon. That sucks. <sighs> I would have actually rather have started off uh, with Barlow. That guy did not go. Jesus. Hurry! Fuck. 
Dirty Pedro Martinez. Dude, I'm working at it, dude. I had to get one more in. Come on, guys. Let's get it done. Let's get it together. Nice. Get there, get there, get there, get there. Ugh. Dude, I thought they were going to catch that. There we go. Oh, come on! Dude, there are four bases loaded on NES, and I have all four of them. The fourth one's actually uh, pricey. Fuck, I cannot believe I didn't get anything. Oh, I should have bunted. I should have at least attempted to bunt. Why'd you give me that ass munch? Come on. Dude, this is way too much of a barn burner. That's why I wanted, I needed to play it because I was like, it's Pedro Martinez and stuff. I had to play it while I'm hot. Because if this was my first game tomorrow, they would have smoked me because I wouldn't have been able to play my defense. <laughs> I know that's what I keep fearing it keeps getting to the point they're kicking out Vita dude Now the only thing is, is do I pinch hit for my pitcher, which I think is my ace, but I have good closer, dude. I definitely am going to pinch hit. Pinch hit, get things going, I think, right? Bottom eighth, bring in... Yeah, dude. What, like at six? Dude, I like it. That guy wasn't didn't seem all that great. What was he? Lefty? No. Is he a lefty or righty? I don't know. Ah, he was a lefty. Damn it, I was just bringing the other guy. Ugh. 
Yeah, that's why I'm glad I'm the home team. Dude, that off the walls, ridiculous, man. Oh no, weak. Come on, big guy. I know, an atom. <sighs> Dude, I'm running out of steam. Nine, three. Except for they're bringing in like a guy who's super good. <laughs> 
Why do they have such good pitching? I just can't hit that first pitch. <sighs> God, I can't just sit here and fucking do this. Eventually, something bad's gonna happen. <laughs> Something good happened. I feel like it's because I keep missing that first ball. They don't want. They're not gonna let me do it. <laughs> Oh my god. Finally someone in the camp pitch, dude.
Welcome everybody, thanks for sticking that one out. Dang. Hot damn, dude. My heart is pumping. Expo's manager chokes on sunflower seeds after extra inning loss. That is a real deal statement right there. All right, dude, that is, that is a great stream. That's all said and done. That's five more games in the book. Starting off against the New York Mets with uh, one of our quality pitchers. Let's go ahead and look at those standings to show the 21 and 0. Hot damn, hot damn. That is, that's an achievement right there, dude. Feeling happy, feeling proud. Tune in for the finale of the Pirates Tribute Run. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Do I go all the way? Who knows? What do I eat? Who knows? Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Dizzy. Thanks, Mr. C. DOA. Oh, everybody that came through. Vinny. Quesadilla. You guys are all amazing. YouTube Mafia in the house. Represent. Thanks for being here, guys. Um, as always, take it easy until next time, and it shouldn't be too long. So we'll see you soon. Brothers Forge Gaming.